we're back. We are. Mm. Been a little while. Yeah, it has. What with health and work and other Life commitments. And, yeah. So we're back today. And we're looking at. Get the bins out. We're looking at homemade chili sauce. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Look. Homemade chili sauce. Um, all out of focus because my camera is rubbish. This is by Trudy Gillard. Mm -hmm. mm. New name to the chili scene. Indeed. But she's been making this for donkey years, apparently. Yeah, so this is a, uh, a family recipe that uh, apparently is loved by friends and family. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite interested to tr interested to try this. Says um, Trudy's parents, you were saying, are Sri Lankan. So she's grown up sort of obviously with a uh, a good uh, a good introduction to to curries and spice that that kind of culinary influence there absolutely awesome absolutely so uh, yeah i'm i'm interested to uh, interested to try this so the ingredients in this vinegar it's not that thin though if you look it's not like a, a kind of tabasco-y no, kind of thinness. No, it's not thinness. that kind of... Uh... But vinegar, sugar, salt armors, Ooh. chili powder, garlic, ginger and salt. Now it doesn't say what chili powder it is. It could be anything from it's sort of cayenne a ricotto type. Yeah. all the way up to Reapers. So... <laughs> I, I doubt somewhere it's Reapers. In, I doubt somewhere it's Reapers. in between. <laughs> it's got a glorious colour to it, hasn't it? It's it got has. really, it's really nice sort of there. deep, rich, rich colour. And like you said, it's... It, I'd call that like a ruby brown. Yeah. Garnet. Elf. No. Let's not go there. No. <laughs> um, yeah. So, well, nothing more to do, really, than... Get it open. open, rip it top off like that. Yeah. On, it takes me back. That does. No, I'm in, I'm interested because you know salt armors as well as a as an ingredient. It's not something that you see quite often, and it's quite high up the ingredients list. So it would be interesting to see whether this is like a a sweet chili sauce or whether it's um, you know sort of savoury but slightly fruity. I have a feeling with that that kind of background it may lean towards the kind of sweet, sweet chilli chili. side yeah which is interesting we're going to try this of course with the chase the heat hot sauce tasting spoon don't taint your sultanas bro absolutely not yeah. absolutely not so yeah we'll uh, we'll give this so when you look at, look at it on the bottle it's almost got that sort of slightly sticky sweet look to it hasn't mm. it where it's sort of clinging to the uh... oh they've got the, the vinegar notes up front but that that is a sweet chili smell coming through mm -hmm. to me there you can smell the ginger Ooh, that's that's interesting. I like that. It's got quite. It's got savoury notes in there, but it is that sort of sweet chilli, sweet chilli hint there. So, let's uh, let's do the uh, the porridge. You can hear the cat meowing in the background. Apologies, I think. Uh, oh, it's got some chunks. She's a chunky girl. We we do like do like some goodies in there, don't we? Oh, there we go, look, little peaks on the spoon there, nice bit of substance to it. What's the, what's the betting that I make a horrible mess? Pretty high. Mm. You know me so well. Yeah. Well. Look at that. Mm. Really getting those sultanas. Yeah, you just get that fruity sweetness from it, can't mm. you? Right, let's give it a yep. go. Cheers. Oh 
<laughs> I'm taking that. That's a good oh god, bearing in mind you're going back for another spoonful. You can really taste the sultanas, can't you? Sorry, I'm going to have another ball. That's actually got a really nice sweet and sour balance to it. Mm. So you get the tartness from the vinegar comes through for me first of all. But then you've got the sweetness that comes through and it's not it's not overly sweet and and syrupy. It's got that natural kind of fruity sweetness that you get with sultanas that's quite unique to that kind of dried fruit. Mm. Watch the neck of the bottle. The way it clings on there. Mm. And then just slides down. You can tell that's a sticky sauce. Mm. But you've got all of the um, sort of the ginger flavour comes through. You've got the warmth from the ginger as well. There's the chili hit there. It's not overpoweringly chili flavoured. And I, I'll be honest, I've not had a sauce that I know of that's had chili powder as an ingredient before. Quite a lot of it has been fresh, fresh chilies. Yeah, a lot, a lot of producers um, use. But it's got a it's got a really nice texture to it, hasn't it? It's not just sticky. You've got kind of like the, the ginger, you've got the sort of the pulpiness of the sultanas and stuff like that coming through. You've got the chili warmth, which is kind of getting me round the tonsils. Yeah, just on the end of the tongue. Yeah, tingle on the end of the tongue, round the tonsils, and then you've just got that warmth from the ginger. Mm. as well I like that but you're sitting there looking at that when you're talking about clingy you've got plans in your mind haven't you I'm not clingy love me <laughs> um, sourness from the vinegar that acidic hit you got the sugar there you got the sultanas brings the balance back just you know levels the scales the ginger the garlic oops that's really clever you know for such a small list of ingredients that's really clever see i'm i'm thinking about that and actually the thing that jumped into my mind straight away was a big rack of ribs with that brushed over it, you've got the vinegar that would cut through kind of the richness of the, the pork fat. But then that sweetness and the fact it would cling mm. so nicely to that. I think you could use it on chicken, you could glaze chicken with it. Chicken wings. Mm. You could use it on a burger. Yeah, it would be like a great like burger relish, wouldn't it? That with salad on a burger. Just to, like you say, you got the richness, the the fattiness of the burger um, with that on it, that vinegar will just cut through the fat and then you've got this sweetness which mm. if you paired it with the salad absolutely astounding yeah that'd be phenomenal and I'm actually sitting here also going uh, uh, go with me on this I'm going to go off a complete tangent deep fried mozzarella sticks <laughs> I know it's not for you but like breaded the breaded mozzarella sticks or like <coughs> the jalapeno poppers and having that to dip them into. Chicken nuggets. I think it'll be lovely. Chicken nuggets, yeah. Onion rings. Anything you dip, you mm. could use that on. I could see this on um, Asian food as well. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, you get some chicken noodles or pork noodles or something mm. and just whack that on. Or vegetable noodles if you're that way inclined. Um, because that it would actually make quite a nice mm. base for, for almost like a kung pao type sauce as well wouldn't it if you were doing some kind of sort of a, a Cantonese style chicken I could see you it, it wouldn't be a proper Szechuan but I could see that mm. kind of Szechuan with a bit, bit of soy a <gasps> little bit of sesame what about the crispy shredded chilli beef kind of idea on that having that as like tossing that through oh my god I'm hungry now <laughs> heat for you um for me it was it was probably about half to a one there was a little bit there it, like I said it did get me kind of a little bit on the the tonsils but then some of that is going to be the warmth from the ginger as well 
probably a one to a two for me. Um, I've not been well. So I haven't had a lot of chilli. So my tolerance is down a little bit. But yeah, probably a one to two for me. Um, probably not one for small children. But if you've never had chilli before, as long as you don't pour off a bottle on you, will be absolutely fine. You know, just so probably what a three, three to a four for yeah somebody who's who's had a little bit of chilli. Um, mm. very tasty. Now, I've messaged Trudy to find out um, her preferred method of contact. We haven't heard back yet. So what I'll do is I'll put that in the description uh, down below. So if you are interested in uh, picking one of these up, and I think we could both thoroughly recommend it, mm -hmm. then, uh, yeah, details will be there. Um, mm. Very good. Right about here is our channel logo. If you haven't subscribed, hit it. Hit it. <laughs> like it stole your lunch money. Um, and up here is a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Who knows? But I think that's quite enough from us for now. Indeed. So thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. And we'll see you in the next one.